So about ready to get away with this fight, light heavyweight contest between Ferriels, Kyle Redfern and Callum Aid. Have absolutely no information whatsoever about this chap whatsoever. He's tall, looks tall, boxer. It's rangy, doesn't he? Yeah, tall and rangy. Redfern's come out with intent. A very, very strong fighter, Kyle Redfern, yeah, isn't he? Hurtful puncher. Redfern in the white shorts with the red trim and black. Aid in the green shorts with the gold trim. Straight away, Redfern's power looks. Um, yeah. Looks like it's oh. going to be a massive effect in his fighting. He's landed a left hook flush there. Once Kale just needs to learn how to get inside of them long arms. This uh, Callum Aid is a. Uh, when he comes away, he's got his chin in the air, and that's going to end in one way with Redfern. It's a recipe for disaster, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's, early, so he's just trying to get behind his job, he's trying to keep Kyle Redfern at bay. Yeah, he's... You can see, uh, he's... You can see, he, he's feeling the them shots already, in, yeah. his, uh, in his body language. He's felt Redfern's power and he doesn't like it at all. Redfern's been doing a bit of sparring down at Gus Robinson's stable with Richie O'Neill, Troy Williamson, who's a former Team GB representative now, unbeaten professional. Very good sparring, that. Yeah. I think that's one good thing about the northeast. Oh, There's really plenty of cracking spawn for the lads around here now, yes. you know. There's a good strong squad of lads representing the northeast at the minute. Yeah, really they we're doing very well on the verge of good things nationally, you know. And, and even the lads knocking around the doors that haven't had too many fights rounds, yeah, you know the Great future ahead for the northeast. Redfern just closing the gaps on the ropes here. It's far too strong. See Callum Aid's face every time. Yeah. Kyle yeah. Redfern lands a shot. <coughs> you see He's Kyle's unfazed completely by the shot that's yeah. landing from uh, from his opponent. Oh, still come really back and try. It was a sickening up. I cut that one. He's still trying. He's still throwing his shots. That's coming what he needs to do. Yeah, he needs to be needs to be at range and, and picking his shots against the the shorter, more muscular Redfern. Just miss with that one. <laughs> if Aid can find a little bit of spite in them rangy shots, um, he'd have more success. But I think I think the half hard on to keep to keep Redfern off. B he needs some power, and I don't think he's got it. Yeah, it's like stopping the train on the tracks with yeah. Redfern. He's he's going to keep coming, isn't he? You can't just be tippy tapping the shots. Yeah, no. They, need, they really need, need to have some uh, some nastiness in them and some spite. And he needs he needs to put some weird bendy shots. Looks like he's struggling to do that so far. Comfortable round for Redfern. Yeah, good strong round. Opening round. Displayed his dominance straight away, didn't he really? It's just the body language he looks. He looks the much stronger lad in there. We need to credit age, you know, like he's um he's giving it a go, he's trying to box, he's trying to stand up. Yeah. But he's just I don't think he's got the power to, to Keep Redfern off. You're right. I think um, I think he's got the idea right. I think his game plan's right in terms of uh, keeping him at bay with the longer shots. But like you say, I don't think he's got the spite in the shots on the end that, uh, to really trouble Redfern. So it's. I think he needs a little bit more movement laterally yeah. if he's going if he's just going to be popping shots out, little straight shots and not too powerful shots. He needs to be a bit of lateral movement side to side just to try and give him the slip a bit more. Back on the way in the second, it's um, Kyle Redfern starting things the way he wants to again, the same as the first with the pressure. Yeah. Come out with a solid jab straight away, didn't he? Yeah. Hey. There's some good shots <laughs> landing from here. Fair play to Aid, like he's giving it a go, isn't he? Yeah, he really did. Good I'm three not, or four shots landed there. I'm, I mean, not sure he, I'm not sure he hurt Redfern, but he, he the caught shots him flush definitely clean, landed yeah. and they were definitely flush, yeah. It's what you want to see though, isn't it? Competitiveness at fight. I think it's just fueled the fire though. Yeah. <laughs> nice body shot. Nice solid shots. 
No, he's just he's just dove in with that one way. Yeah, he just fell a bit short with that, didn't he? That's better. That's better behind the jab. So he just needs to. There's it again. When he's throwing punches in bunches, he he does seem to get a little yeah, bit of success. I think that's the way forward. Like you know, he, he's going to be a bit tired, but he's going to have to throw shots in like four or five punches. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, he's he's catching them. And again, like I say, his, his chin is extremely high when he throws the shots, yeah. and he's he'll get punished if it stays like that. That's a good uppercut. Nice shot. By the hoop. He'd stay with him. He's taking the shots and he's coming back. He knows he's in a fight though, doesn't he? Definitely. But also I think Kyle does as well, I think. Yeah, Kyle, I think Kyle knows. I think it's just. I think the fact that he'd uh, showed a bit of intent earlier and, yeah. and continued to punch. Bit of half, bit of grit. Oh, oh that's that's a nice shot. Left out the body. A good right hand as well to finish it off with. And again. We can hear them, but Ear definitely felt that one. Another nice shot. I think yeah. that's a key for Kylie. Needs to really the elbow there. bring them shots from the side, slow them down. Ear's really effective when he stands he is, tall yeah. and use, uses range. He uses. He's, he's got long arms, although he's not getting much power in his shots. He's, he's been very effective with them with them shots. Oh. Trouble is, how much is he going to blow himself out by throwing them oh, that high him. volume of shots? He did. You can see him; his legs just winced a bit there, and he's standing still, which is the oh, worst I... thing you can possibly do with Redfern. Oh, that's a great right that hand. A good shot. Yeah, that's hurt him, and he's still he's still in that corner there. That's exactly where Kyle Redfern wants to be. Keep Aid in the corner. Aid's lost his he's lost his range now. Oh, he's still, oh, another shot, he's gone. He's down. Oh. I think you got the feel it was the only matter of time. I think it was very wise to take that knee there. He was starting to take a few clean shots. Oh, right on the bell as well. well I think that came at the right time there for Callum Aid. For Callum Aid, but he's, he's done well. Been saved by Do you know, he, 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 he took them shots. He took the shots. And he's um, he put himself in a corner there where he didn't want to be, yeah. Because he lost his range, and the it, distance of the shot. Like we said earlier, he stood still. Yeah. And the second he stood still is when when Redford thought, right, I'm gonna yeah. have a go at you here then. Whereas earlier on, he wasn't a standing target. Yeah. So Redford was having to force the fight. He when he stood that still success. there, that that was that was the start of it going going yeah. on for him there. And then when he's, he's backed up into the corner, took far too many shots unanswered. Yeah. And I, I don't actually know if he was if he was falling. I think I think he actually took a knee because he was so hurt. Yeah, he was. I, I think he was. His head went a bit woozy. And he took the knee, which was yeah. very sensible, very considering sensible. he's under a lot of pressure there. I'm not sure a minute is enough to clear a head after them. Them oh. really, really. Uh, I think Kyle knows it as well. He smells shot. blood, yeah, doesn't he? Definitely. Right there, the job. The job's dropped them back straight away. Yeah. He doesn't want to be in there now. He's unsteady on his legs and Kyle's really putting the pressure Redford's on him now. Mother in his work. Aid's going to have to put something in behind them shots if he wants to carry on in this fight. He is, yeah. But I also that think when he's, in, job isn't enough. when he's inside, I think Kyle Redfern just needs to give himself a little bit of space to throw his shots. I mean, oh, his legs went there and he's down again. Absolutely cracking shots there from Kyle Redfern. And Callum Aid's corners through the towel and that was a sensible move. He was starting to take a lot of shots, but very, very brave performance there by Callum Aid, but yeah, just not strong brave. enough, yeah. He's brave to get up on the eight there. His corner's done the right thing because yeah. Redfern was landing at will. I mean that was that was very um that was very sympathetic. It was very good core work that because yeah. you seen that Callum Aid was taking some shots there. And he was he was brave, you know. Some fighters are too brave for their own good. Yeah, he was he was brave, he was brave to get up. To be honest, um, yeah. he was, he, I think he was, after he was that some punishment there. after that knockdown there, you know, um, it was going to be one way traffic, you know. But he, he very brave to come out for the next round. Very brave to get up from that count, you know. Fair play to him. But at the end of the day, taking nothing away from Kyle, uh, Kyle Redfern there.
it was a cracking performance. Oh, okay. he, it was an awkward opponent. He had long arms. He, was, yeah, he had yeah. the reach and he, he, had, the he, had, he definitely had fight about him. Right. Kyle Redfern just closed them gaps and found these spaces and he took them opportunities while he could there. Yeah, he really did. One thing's for sure, Kyle Redfern and Bang. <laughs>